ничего проще, мне кажется, в мире, чем быть натуралом. Вот как бы, если есть выбор, кто выберет быть э, геем? Daria Sergeyevna Kasatkina is a Russian professional tennis player. She's currently the Russian number one tennis player in singles. She has won four WTA Tour titles in singles and one title in doubles. She has always been an athletic person and started playing tennis at the age of six. Currently, she's been in the news after her recent revelation that she's not interested in men, instead she is gay. She's also uploaded a picture with her girlfriend which is storming all over the internet. This news has thrilled the world of tennis as well as the people of Russia. World number 12 is now one of a very small number of athletes in her country who have openly declared their sexual orientation, and she's received widespread support from fans all over the world for her bravery. In this video, we will talk about the Russian tennis star and her recent reveal. We will also tell you about her girlfriend. Stay with me till the end of the video to know a lot more, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do. Also, don't forget to press the bell so you don't miss any updates. So, without any further delay, let's get started. Who is Daria Kasatkina? Born on May 7, 1997, Daria Kasatkina is a Russian number one tennis player. She was born to athletic parents who were ranked in athletics and ice hockey. Her mother was in athletics and her father was in ice hockey. She started playing tennis at the early age of six at the insistence of her older brother. In her early life, she played tennis two or three times per week for two years. Later, she began competing in higher level tournaments. Latest Reveal Daria Kasatkina has recently revealed her sexual interest in an interview she gave to YouTube blogger Vitya Kravchenko. She has revealed that she is gay. After her revelation, she said that it would not have been possible for her to stay in the closet forever, and coming out and speaking about her relationship was her decision to live in peace. Living in the closet is impossible. Not for the long run, no. It's too hard. Of course, it's up to you to decide how to do it and how much you should tell, Daria Kasatkina said. Living in peace with yourself is the only thing that matters and do not think about anyone else. In the interview, she did not reveal the name of the person she is in love with, but after the interview was posted, Daria Kasatkina posted a picture of her other half on Instagram and giving the curiosity of her fans a relief. Her other half is a prominent name in Russian sports, Zabiako. Who is Natalia Zabiako? Tennis fans want to know about the girlfriend of Daria Kasatkina. So, here is everything you need to know about Zabiako. Natalia Zabiako is a figure skater who primarily competes in pair skating. Zabiako was born in Estonia in 1994, represented her country in sports from the age of 15 until 2014, when she decided to change her nationality to Russian. The move boosted the 27-year-old's career and she went on to achieve great things while representing her new country. Zabiako won a silver medal at the 2018 Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang, South Korea her only Olympic medal to date. She also won bronze medals at the 2018 European Figure Skating Championships and the 2019 World Figure Skating Championships, both times partnering with fellow countryman Alexander Embert. Zambiako and Embert were part of the Russian team that won bronze at the ISU World Team Trophy. However, due to Embert's medical issues, the pair ended their professional partnership in 2020. According to the latest reports, Zabiako will now represent Canada after switching nationalities yet again. In terms of relationships, the figure skater was engaged to Russian film director Daniel Grinkin in 2018, but the relationship ended in divorce. The reason behind the divorce might be because Zabiako was into women instead of men. Criticism In the interview, she also criticized the way Russia deals with the issue of homosexuality. She said that many subjects are too taboo in Russia. She also said that the notion of someone wanting to be gay or becoming gay is ridiculous. Only one thing, according to Daria, is easy, which is being straight. Seriously, if there is a choice, no one would choose to be gay. Why make your life harder, especially in Russia? What's the point? She was asked by the interviewer, does she think that it would be possible for her ever to walk in public holding the hands of her girlfriend? To which she replied, never. Judging by things that are going on now, it will never be okay. It is obvious from her statement that she is not happy with the culture of her country. Bill in Russia 
Just a few hours before Kasatkina's interview, six Duma deputies introduced a new bill in Russia that would prohibit positive or neutral public discussions of LGBTQ plus relationships, as well as screening of any LGBTQ plus content in cinemas. The new law would build on the country's 2013 gay propaganda bill, which prohibited the promotion of non-traditional sexual relations to minors and has been used to halt gay pride marches and arrest gay rights activists. According to this bill, any event or any act in regard as an attempt to promote homosexuality could result in a fine. Previously, a bill of non-traditional values was passed that made it normal for homosexual relationships and marriages, but the influential parliamentary speaker Vyacheslav Volodin has since left the Council of Europe Human Rights Watchdog, so now it is possible to impose a ban on non-traditional values. Demands in Russia to legalize same-sex marriages are a thing of the past, Volodin said. Trying to impose foreign values on our society has failed. Inspired by Nadia Karpova Her revelation was inspired by Russian footballer Nadia Karpova, who came out publicly about her relationship earlier the month of June. She also revealed that she is gay. On her social media, Kasatkina wrote an appreciation comment saying, I'm so proud of you. You go, girl. This way, tennis superstar has appreciated the courage Nadia has shown to come out and speak about her personal life, instead of hiding it from the people the fear of getting judged by them. She said, Young people must have role models who look like them. I want them to see that there is nothing wrong with them. The timing is also very symbolic, given all that is going on in Russia. Nadia Kaprova, on the other, is also very happy to see that Katsikina has spoken up. She said that when she heard the news, she was so proud and jumping with happiness. Russia-Ukraine War As we all know, the All England's club has imposed a ban on players who represent Russia or Belarus to participate in the Wimbledon event that took place in July. The ban was imposed due to the invasion of Russia in Ukraine. So due to this, Kasatkina was also unable to participate in the event. When she was asked about the Russia-Ukraine war, she described the situation as a total nightmare and hopes the war to end soon. What LGBT Network of Russia has to say A prominent Russian group defending the rights of lesbians, gays, bisexuals, transgender and intersex people, the LGBT Network has supported the act of Daria Kasatkina. Igor Koshikov has described the act as monumental. This is the first time an undisputed sports star of Kasatkina's stature has appeared in our history. Sport is always political in Putin's Russia. He also said that during the war, the Kremlin strives for complete social unity. If they see that someone is going to attack sexual minorities and that attack could stir a heated discussion or debate, then they would do anything to avoid such an attack. That is why he thinks that Kasatkina's act of coming out has the actual power to prevent homophobic campaigns. Feedback from fans The interview of Kasatkina was picked up by Sports.ru, which is a popular Russian website. It received many positive comments from the people. 1. Congratulations on saying what you did. If doing it openly is important to her, she has every right to do so. 2. No one should be condemned for this in a civilized world. The website was loaded with loads of positive comments from readers. According to recent polls, Russian society has become more polarized on the issue, with the number of people who consider LGBTQ plus people to be normal increasing from 23% to 32% over the last eight years, and to 68% among Russians aged under the age of 18. This was all from the video. Hope you liked it. Being a celebrity, Kasatkina has encouraged many people to speak up and own this homosexuality. What do you guys think? Would it be a good move or would have some effects as well? Tell us in the comment section below.